Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate it. Just gonna make a couple of little statements, I suppose, or just things I've been thinking about. One of the guys I follow, he uh, he suggested something that struck a nerve, made sense to me. He said everybody should have a YouTube channel. Why? Well, if you think about it. YouTube's pretty well established, not going anywhere anytime soon. It's a good place to get your videos out there. Depending on what you want to talk about, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. The important part is, and what made sense to me, is that he's doing it for his kids. He had always wished, he's my age, and he had always wished that YouTube and such had been around when his father was his current age and such and just having video of his father he would have really appreciated it it made a lot of sense to me so I don't have any kids personally but I have a lot of friends and family and care about me and so you know tomorrow's never guaranteed nothing's promised so hey there's some video out there you know out there on the internet and such um, so yeah, you know, you can see me, and, you know, hear my voice and stuff and, you know, we've all lost people in our lives. You get it to a certain age, you know, I'm 46 years old, I've seen a lot in life and such. So the memories are still there, photos and stuff, but it would be nice to have some video and some audio to go with it as well. Anyhow, um, tonight's topic, PSA. A lot of people think PSA means public service announcement, I suppose it does. Uh -huh. But in this case, it means professional sports card trader. Great authority. Professional sports authority. I think I'm screwing that up, but you get the gist of it. Um, they're a third party grader. There are three such graders that are considered the best in card grading. PSA, BGS, and SGC they each have their strengths and weaknesses. Probably do that in another video. Um, each have their hardcore collectors and defenders and raw robbers and such but um just a little to keep this sports card related I'm going to uh um, this is a 2017 heritage mike trout that i actually came back graded a 10 it's pretty sweet i actually picked this up raw on ebay when it came out paid about eight dollars for it since it came back in 10, it's probably worth about 50 now, somewhere around there. I, I didn't, I should have looked it up before I started the video, but I didn't. Anyway, generalization is that for collecting, I mean, obviously everyone wants to get a 10. 10, 10, 10. You see a lot of videos if you watch YouTube guys that, uh, Collectors, PSA collectors, people that submit their own stuff and they get it back and to do a PSA mail day and such. You know, oh, I hope this is a 10. I hope this is a 10. And they'll flip it over. Oh, man. It's. Oh, man. It's only a 9. Oh, oh what's wrong with it? Why did it get only a 9? It looks good to me. Such and so forth. Well, I have been collecting slabs going on 13 years now. All three companies, all phases, all grades, all you name it. And I'm at the point now where in the last couple of years, I'm fully in the, the camp of buy the card, not the holder. I personally am a PSA fan. I 
buy BGS as well, not very often anymore. But I like to pay attention more to the card inside the PSA holder than the assigned grade it's given. What I'm getting at is that you can, just for using a rough, rough scale, rough math, let's say this PSA is, is a $50 card, right? And then a PSA 9, this is a 10, PSA 10 is a $50 card, let's say. And a PSA 9 will run you basically between 10 and 15 dollars. So you got the 10 for 50, the 9 for 10 to 15 dollars. So you're looking at up to 80 percent off, you know, 10 to 15 versus 50. So what you can do is, as a collector, you can buy that 10 for 50. Hey, you own it, great, it's a 10. Or buy the 9 for $10, just to make math simpler. And then use that $40 to towards another slab, or another collecting item you would like to purchase. So you're stretching your collector dollar even further. Yeah, but Eric, I want to own 10s. Okay, then there you go, $50. You own your 10, you move on to the next thing. Me personally, I'd rather own five different 9s than one 10. Just from a collecting aspect of it all. Now here's another thing. You know, as we enter, it's 2017, it's, you know, August 21st, 2017. As we close, get closer to 2018, grading is becoming more and more mainstream. Everyone's doing it all the time. A lot of people, there are a lot of sellers, this is what they do. They grade cards and they sell them graded. I can almost guarantee if you see a seller that sells a lot of 10s and they have 9s, they didn't submit those 9s thinking that they'd be nines. They submitted them thinking they'd be tens. And either PSA decided, oh, we, we missed, they decided, either PSA, they fubbed up on that one, messed it up, and undergraded it, or the guy who, the person who had it graded, overestimated that particular card. Either way, it's a nine. So you're getting that nine for ten dollars. And they're selling their 10s for $50 all day long. So, if you took each of those cards out, if you had the 10 and the 9, you put take them out of the, the slabs, you put them on the table, 99% of the public wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. So, you're just going to save a bunch of money buying those 9s, as an old saying, sell 10s, buy 9s. Sell 10s, collect 9s. So that's just a little insight on a little tiny bit of little nuggets of stuff. I don't want this video to go too long. It's nearing the nine minute mark. That's probably <laughs> quite too long for my videos, but I'm still trying to get accustomed to be in front of the camera and ease of conversation, get the videos made and content and uh, try to give this a whirl. Okay. Again, I thank you for watching and hope you learned something. That would be fantastic. And uh, as always, enjoy collecting. Enjoy everything. And uh, try to make another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.